Hey, what's up guys, JJ Funko LA here. So we're at Funko Hollywood. So let's see what's on the table or what we could grab. So you guys, we're at Funko Hollywood. They're gonna be opening in the next couple minutes. So if it came to my term that they just told us, we do not need to wear our masks no more unless we got vaccinated. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. I know there's an age limit for the kids where the kids still have to wear it. I don't know the age, but if you did get vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask now. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes, but we'll see. We are moving you guys. We are moving. We are moving. Let's see what we could get. All right, you guys, we are inside. So let's see what we could get today. But first, let's go check out the table. Yep. Someone beat me to it, you guys, but it's all good. But have the whole set just need his chase but eventually check this out you guys this is a new star wars lounge fly right here that's pretty cool uh nothing from the star wars wave that i want but we'll see you guys Yo. all right you guys we scored we got the bad bunch set you guys we're only missing is two this is a good score so far you guys so i think that's what we're going to title today's hunt guys we were lucky enough to get the bad bunch set from star wars i did not think they were gonna be here today oh my god you guys this is such an amazing score right now so very happy we got it, you guys uh i'm looking for two mushrooms i don't know where the hell he's at right now but if i find him i'll let you know you guys but happy hunting bad bunch you guys at funko hollywood this is all that's left i got wrecker crosshair and hunter whoever needs them they're right here hey funko nair did you get crosshair or hunter yeah i'm just missing uh all right you guys it looks like we are done for the hunt today so um stay tuned when we get back home for the review at jj funko la see you guys in a bit hey okay, guys funko is not a joke today thank god i came kind of early thank god it's hot stay hydrated the real question for today's hunt is when is this fam gonna open his spot again when are you opening your spot fam soon man soon we need his spot back you guys Bring his, bring his little swap meet back, come on. Life, life is definitely taking a turn, but never give up. Hey, just like never in Jurassic Park, when there's a life, there's a way. When there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. <laughs> there you go, you guys. But happy hunting. Stay tuned for the review when we drop it on the channel. All right, you guys. So we're back from the hunt at Funko Hollywood. And unfortunately, it was pretty dry. No Alice in Wonderland. I really want to get that set for Mrs. J. It's a set that I actually like. It's a blackout light like the morals we got back here, you guys. But we scored funko thank you thank you i've been saying i want to i'm gonna go off camera for a minute i'm just kidding you guys me and mrs j play around but i'm watching her go to... <laughs> but anyway guys if you guys saw in the video i guess we're going to title it uh bad bad batch funko hunt or whatever you want to call it in the name of the title but you guys will see that once i upload but you guys we got almost the whole set except for two people, no, three people actually, because one's a Target exclusive. We got Wrecker, which is awesome. He's actually my favorite just because of the face Hello. paint. Bless you. You're welcome. Excuse the background. But anyway, we got Wrecker, you guys. We got Crosshair. And we got Hunter, you guys. So we got basically one, two, three, four. It's a five piece set. We got basically three out of the five, which isn't too bad, actually. So we're only missing is Tech and Echo, you guys. And this is a dope Star Wars, you guys. And again, you guys, if you guys have not seen Clone Wars or any of the other ones, it's not going to make sense. You guys definitely have to watch that just to make the story make sense. But you guys, this is an amazing set right here, you guys. And the moment I saw it, I was like, oh, I have to have it. No questions asked. And this is one of my personal favorite Star Wars shows at the moment. Uh, I know they're doing an episode every Friday, if I remember correctly. Leave a comment if you guys know. But all in all, you guys, I think the detail on these pops are great. The show is great, honestly. I'm excited to get uh, Echo and get everybody else and see what we could get right now. But um, that's what we're doing here, you guys. So this is what I want. Um, Echo, what I like about Echo, he's actually a little... Echo! <laughs> Echo! That's what Ms. J said in the background. But anyway, as I was saying, you guys, Echo is basically, uh, he's all black, which I could see here, and he's the only one missing the arm, which is the robot arm, if you guys don't know. I'm missing the arm, too. <laughs> and if you guys follow the channel, you know Mrs. J, you know, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Tech is actually a light gray with yellow, which is actually pretty cool. That I'm excited to get. That's going to be a little different. I know Omega is a Target exclusive, which 
They haven't announced a release date, but you guys know we're gonna get that one to complete this set here. All in all, you guys, uh, if you guys are wondering, here's the rest of the set right here. Dope set, great coloring box, honestly. Cannot, I'm not disappointed, I think this is great. But besides that, let's see what else we got at Funko Hollywood. All right, you guys, so this is it from Funko Hollywood, but you guys, well, actually, you know what? I didn't even film this part of the video, actually, so my bad about that. But we did a trade with uh, Funko Pop J, and if you guys are wondering, this is his Instagram slash TikTok slash YouTube channel. Definitely show him some love. Uh, he's been a big he's been a big supporter from the get-go, so, so have I, actually. And I traded him the WandaVision costume and the Vision costume for... The number 17 WWE Nature Boy Ric Flair, which is the one of the few we needed from our WWE Grail collection. And if you guys don't know, most of our WWE Grails are right here, actually. And for this set is Sting, which we have right here, number 19. Ultimate Warrior, which is number 20, we got right here. And Andre the Giant, number 21. Now we got is Ric Flair, number 17. The only one we're unfortunately missing is, rest in peace, Roddy Roddy Piper you guys that's the only one we need to complete this set here you guys I really had the opportunity to get this at the time I regret not getting it for the price because I know his pop skyrocketed not too crazy in value I think the PPG is now at 70 if not 60 but that's a big difference over 25 if you think about it you guys and it only went up due to his passing so again rest in peace to, to legend Roddy Roddy Piper all in all you guys this is a sick pop and most of y'all don't know if I remember correctly, leave a comment if you guys notice. Ric Flair's iconic pink robe was actually legendary. Reason why was he did not wear it as much as people think he did. I think he only wore it once or at the most twice during his wrestling career. All in all, it is a legendary robe, so I can understand why they did that. Um, okay, also, someone leave a comment. I'm trying to figure this out. Is it true that they did another one or if not two more pops with a different robe color is that true like the blue or whatever i think it's maybe it's a rumor that they might do his outfit or if it's a rumor i don't know if it's true or not or if it has happened leave a comment because if it's true and they exist i might as well get those but i just want to know but besides that you guys appreciate the trade brother and if you guys are not yet following him show him some love on instagram uh youtube and tiktok but besides that let's get to the rest of the pops we got all right you guys so i want to be a la 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 Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that laugh. I, I had a tongue twist for a minute there. But hey, no one's perfect. We all mess up. So I, I left it in there just so you guys could enjoy the laugh. But anyway, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Funko Queen. Uh, she was selling this Loki, you guys. If most of y'all don't know, this was before the YouTube channel. I originally had owned this Loki. Um, unfortunately, uh, I had to sell it due to personal reasons. Uh, but besides that I had regretted it but at the same time it was before I was working due to COVID and we needed you know to survive and all that uh, but thank God things are good and thank God I got a job so thank you to all that but besides that shout out to Funko Queen um, if you guys don't know this is actually her sticker right here which by the way nice sticker Funko Queen uh, follow her Instagram follow her TikTok show some love you guys I'll leave her Instagram right right now actually this is her Instagram But definitely show some love you guys there's gonna be days where she'll upload certain pops that she'll be selling so if you guys are interested definitely check it out i know she is selling a tony the tiger i believe that's still up for grabs i believe uh not 100 sure i personally am interested in it but we'll see you guys but besides that you guys thank you for this she sold it to me for a good deal uh got it for ppg which i'm very glad no regrets right here you guys i'm just so happy we got it back but all in all, thank you, Funko Queen. And a big shout out to DTLA Funko Connect, which, by the way, if you guys are not yet following him, this is his Instagram. Definitely show him some love for his auctions, his raffles, and live streams during Funko every day. Uh, definitely check it out, you guys. Uh, but much love. Thank you, brother, for holding it. Now, the next pop we got here, you guys, um, is actually from the same wave. We got Lady Sif right here. And honestly, I am very happy we got this. I got it for less than what it's worth. On the real though, you guys, this is actually an old school pop. Yes, it is. Uh, so is the Loki. Um, it is vaulted. Now, she's not valued as much. She's barely at PPG, I believe, 12 bucks right now, I believe, if not 15 at most. But eventually, she's going to skyrocket. And I keep hearing rumors that supposedly she's coming back. I don't know if it's true or not. Personally, that's not the reason why I got it. I just wanted it for my set. And also, I want to give a big shout out to Pop Collect for Fun, which is this is an Instagram and YouTube channel. And the reason why I want to give him a shout out, 
I completely forgot about this pop and he had mentioned it. So he reminded me, oh man, I need to go get it. So again, Pop Collector Fun, thank you for doing that video and reminding some of us that we need to still go hunting for this pop. So thank you, brother. Appreciate you. And again, you guys, check him out for uh, reviews, Marvel hunts, you name it. If you like my Marvel stuff, definitely check out his Marvel stuff here, guys. But much love to him, man. Thank you, brother. But besides that, you guys, this is actually a dope set right here. Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. The lighting. There you go. It's a dope set right here. We're only missing is Odin and then the basically the gatekeeper dude, basically. So I really want to get this set. I think uh, number 55 for the gatekeeper dude, I believe he's only at PPG... 45 if not 55 i could be wrong i need to double check but i know he's past the 40 range and odin i have not checked how much he's worth but i know for a fact the odin is somewhat pretty hard to get right now so if anyone has an odin for a fair deal dm us at jjs funko la let's talk let's negotiate you know i i want to complete the set here but all in all you guys these are dope pops i love the old school logos in the bottom this loki is still a chunky pop where Lady right here isn't actually a chunky pop. This is actually going with uh, where a lot of the pops were starting to get their body figures and all that stuff. So I think that's pretty cool, you guys. But besides that, let's get to the end of this video. All right, you guys, if you guys liked today's video, leave a comment, let us know which was the pop of the day. Was it the Loki, the Lady, the Nature Boy Ric Flair, or the Bad Bunch set right here, you guys. We're only missing two, and plus it's our exclusive. But anyway, leave a comment, let me know what it is. And as always, you guys, if you guys like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to us at JJ LA. Follow our Instagram at JJS LA. And as always, you guys, happy hunting.